What FIRST does, it gives the chance for kids to mess around with robots between high school and uh, middle school. And we are going to a world festival in April to, with 40, 48 countries and 84 teams. And we are a part of FIRST LEGO League. And FIRST gives a chance. FIRST will hold competitions every year. And Al, would you like Each year, FLL comes up with an energy or a topic for all teams in the world to do. This year, it was Power Puzzle, our corner of green energy, and you had to do an energy audit of a local community building and come up with short-term and long-term solutions. We did our audit of the Auburn Placer County Library, and we'd like to show you our presentation now. Thank you. <laughs> There's a microphone. We did our presentation on the Auburn Placer County Library, and uh, this is our presentation board where we have some of our photos. Where's the photos? Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! Check to see if there's any room for solar panels. Okay, log or check. That was fast. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's lots of space for solar panels. Maybe some insulation too. What about the air conditioning? Okay, I'll go check. Oh, I hope he doesn't break a leg. Wow, that looks really good. Climbing on a county wow. building. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. I don't think about it. Man, they're a pair of. Old ACs. Yeah. What about the lights? Sure, I'll go inside now. Gosh, I'm afraid to see what they're going to be like. Wow. <clears throat> wow, that's a lot of wear coming out of there, you guys. I bet. I wonder how many times a day those doors open and close. Hey, Carl, don't forget the lights. Man, that's a lot of lights. Wow. That's like, even right. for a library. Yeah, a library <clears throat> Yeah. Right. Carl, check the computers. Okay, hang on. I'll go there now. What are they going to be like? Carl, check the windows. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yep, there are big windows, all right. What kind are they? Well, they're single pane windows. Get out of there! Come on, run. Don't drop the camera. Don't drop the camera. That is a really nice camera. Don't drop that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, as you see in our video, the Auburn Library has a lot of old appliances that they could replace. In fact, their last energy bill was around $47,000. One of our long-term solutions is to try and install solar panels, which will reduce our energy usage greatly. pg and &E Company will help with rebates, and this will have around four to five-year payback. As you can see, their HVAC system is quite old. They have multiple options. They can do duct insulation, which, keep, which would keep in 30% of lost heat and cooling. They could replace the motors inside the air conditionings, or they could put in new thermostats, which would also help. They have a long-term option system called ice energy, which during off-peak hours freezes water, then during on-peak hours runs the air conditioning through the ice to cool down the building. I'm the structural expert looking at the possibility of installing an air curtain above the library's current doors. With the installation of an air curtain, heated and cooled air loss could be controlled with energy savings of 70 to 90 percent through those doors. The Auburn Library has almost 2,000 fluorescent T12 light bulbs. If they change these with T8s, which only use 26 watts, they could save up to $14,000 per year. At the library, there are 36 CRT screens. If they were to replace them with LCD screens, they would save up to 67%. There three, uh, three refrigerators could be replaced with two energy-efficient models, which would save them over 60%. Their single pane windows could be replaced with window films or double pane. We found that window films are more cost effective. 
we um, when presented this to many places. We also talked to HMG, which is the chair of Governor Schwarzenegger's energy plan. Um, oh, move the board. Uh, and this is where we have gone. Um, resource contacts and. We have all, this is our, some of the places that we have shared ideas with the community, and we also have our own website, which is www.wellguards.net. Okay. Here's all of the solutions we have, cost and savings per year, the total, and we would save them about $47,000 per year. We have a short-term method, which have a little under a year in payback, and would save them $16,000. We believe our energy solutions would be easily, wait, easy to implement and could greatly reduce the energy consumption for our library and our community. Thank you for watching our presentation. I'll now hand it over to Carl and Gavin, who will explain about the table. You do this building next. This building is not solar suitable. <laughs> 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 Um, this is our robot. It's made out of an NXT mine, which is made by Lego. Um, some of the rules are first is that your robot must fit in the base, um, including all its attachments. And every piece must be made out of Lego. And a lot of the stuff really doesn't look like Lego. Um, our robot doesn't use any remote controls. We have to program it to do everything. Uh, and Carl can talk about Um, our robot's a little bit different because it's a uh, conversion of a tank. We originally started out with treads, but we switched to wheels. We found that it turns better, um, can go on the table a little bit faster. Um, one of the things also we do is we do uh, line following because, yeah. But um, we have one of the things that's one of the rules is you have to keep inside of the base, there's a size and base and everything. Uh, once you push the button, it has to go out and you cannot like touch it again unless it's an emergency and then you can touch it but you get negative points. Um, we have attachments and everything else so we can put it on the robot so it can perform the missions better. Um, as you can see, the speed of the robot is not all that fast and one of the missions is kind of like a race. You want to try and get to the uh, uh, satellite over there first to try and knock it, knock the um, wings down. But we, as you can see, the robot is not that fast. So we designed a um, pretty much a kind of almost like a transmission in order to make the robot move a lot faster. <laughs> As you can see, it's a lot faster, and therefore we can get that mission done. Way better. Realize this is only a half table. These are only half the missions. We have two and a half minutes, and there's 14 missions. So, wow. Wow. And, That's and we were one of the only teams at uh, the in California championships. There was four that got a perfect score. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I have a couple comments before I turn it back over to Supervisor Krantz. Um, first of all, I want our personnel director to get the names of all these people because <laughs> we're going to need a... Oh, you got it. All right. She's back there. Great. And then uh, I want to thank Supervisor Krantz for bringing this forward. This is fascinating. Um, on many, one of my many travels over to the Auburn Library, I happened to run into a couple, three, I think three of these fine folks. And uh, I thought they were measuring. They were measuring from the, the door, the entrance, and out to the out to the steps. And I thought they were measuring for uh, skateboarding. <laughs> after, after discussing, I saw and to see the uh, the uh, the final product here is just fascinating. So thank you very much. Uh, go ahead, Bruce. Well, I I just was mentioning, Kirk. You're in this business. Yeah. As a matter Get their of names, fact, you might want to hire them. Yeah, and well, as a matter of fact, uh, <laughs> under their, their list of resource contacts, Solar Power Inc. is listed number second, my company. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. number second, number two, <laughs> listed second. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice to, to see that. This is, you, you guys demonstrated tremendous awareness of the kinds of things that go into uh, excess energy consumption. And you, you recommended uh, a good, reasonable, steps that can be taken to, to limit costs uh, and provide a good return on investment. And very, very well done. You, you are uh, years ahead of most adults who pay the PG&E bill. 